try not to create the most boring video in the world. I'm going to kind of speed up some of this footage and I'll stop at some spots and talk about some major issues that could happen or just anything that I feel is important to talk about. Um, so yeah, we're going to jack up the car. Um, good thing to always have is just, I mean, Harbor Freight, freaking giant breaker bar. This is great for breaking those wheel bolts loose. Um, torque wrench, we're going to need that. Jack. I got one of these stupid little jack pucks for the BMW because they've got that little funky groove under the jack points for that to fit into her. All right, one of the things I forgot to mention was tools. So, Loctite, directions recommended blue Loctite. Um, so, all we really need is the these two right here. Uh, eight, this is a five millimeter Allen. That'll be for tightening down the uh, studs. And we got a 17 millimeter socket for our wheel bolts. So yeah, uh, that's about it. I'm gonna go ahead here and jack up the car. So this is what I was talking about. We're gonna need the wire brush for. See all this rust that's built up here? There's a ton of garbage on there. So I'm gonna take a little bit here and run the wire brush over it and clean that up. Alrighty. So next we're going to take our five lugs and some blue Loctite. We're gonna apply Loctite to each of these at this wider piece, this shorter stub. In here, but we need to put Loctite here as, as I mentioned. And uh, we're gonna use the torque wrench over here. We're gonna torque that down. It says 11 foot pounds in the uh, ECS instruction manual. Gosh, those lights keep flickering on me. Uh, so yeah, 11 foot-pounds, and it seems, I don't know, 11 foot-pounds seems kind of, kind of, a uh, low, but uh, I guess we'll start there, and I'm going to check on these after about a, a week, probably next weekend, I'll just take the wheel off again, and just, you know, double check to make sure everything's tight, but, uh, yeah, 11 foot-pounds, and blue Loctite, keep that in mind. Now, now that we have our uh, lugs on here, we can uh, put on our wheel spacer. See how that fits. And you want to make sure that that is flush against there. There's nothing in the way. That slides on there pretty good. It's got a little, had a little bit there at the beginning. Broke away a little bit of that debris from that. But overall, fits on good. And this is the uh, 12 and a half millimeter for the rear. So we'll put this on and we'll put on the wheel. And we'll tighten down the uh, new lugs on there and uh, we'll go from there, start on the next wheel. So fast, I catch my Alrighty, so now let's see, put the uh, lugs on there and the wheel spacer in the back behind there. But still haven't torqued it down, but just as a first peek, it is uh, much nicer for the uh, alignment here with the fender. Looks way more aggressive. I love it. I'm liking it. Oop, tripping off everything. Can see a little bit more of that tire poke now. It's overall just a good look. 
I honestly think I could maybe go a little bit more, like a, maybe a 15 millimeter would look aggressive. But I don't know, I think I'll stick with this for now. So we're going to torque these down to the 105 foot pound. That is the stock recommended torque setting for this. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then we'll work our way to one of the front wheels so you can see that. That's the passenger rear wheel, and we're gonna go. Uh, I might have to back out of the garage, but we're gonna do the uh, passenger side front wheel next. Into the driveway area here. I'm just gonna start working on the front wheel. From here, rear wheel's done on the passenger side. As much as it sucks, I have to work out here in this heat because I don't have the space to work in there. The garage is tiny. So, yeah, let's get started. side of the car. That is done. Let's just take a look and see. Driver's side to passenger side comparisons. That right there is it's more aggressive. There's kind of a shadow here. Stock, which sits in pretty darn far here. Yeah, it's a big difference. Way more aggressive. Alright guys, overall I think that was a success. Um, I'm going to go do the other side and uh, like I said, one of my friends told me it was a good idea to double check these after about a week of driving. He's had himself uh, stranded on the side of the road because his bolts have either sheared off or he's had issues with the spacer. So um, I'm going to come back and take a look at those next week but otherwise thanks for tuning in guys